In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we automatically generate social media posts for contracting businesses. While this could work for any type of business, contractors are usually who we work with, so I'm gonna focus more on that aspect for today. Before we dive into that, one of the questions that might pop up is, well, why do we even bother posting on social media? Or why is, should we even bother automating that? Well, the reality is that captioning sucks. It's time consuming. It doesn't really add that much value to your business, but you have to have some way to let people know that you've created, made a new video, you've written a new piece of content, whatever the case may be, you cannot afford to simply ignore it or people just won't read it. And the first thing people do when they want to work with you, a lot of times you're going to check your social media following. You're going to check, well, are they active? Are they still in business? And I see so many people, so many companies have fallen into the trap of just laying time, letting time go by without updating their socials. And I understand it, but you have to, in this day and age, it is imperative to have some sort of social media presence, even if it is an automated one. So now, okay, we understand the problem. How do we fix it? Very simple solution. You can automate these sorts of things with the advances in AI and chat GBT and all that. It's been, it's easier than ever to automate your captioning, your postings, to never even have to think about it. You'll spend 30 seconds, maybe a day, how to deal with it. Okay, we have the problem, we have a solution. Now, how do we actually go about implementing this? Well, there's two options. The first one is if you don't have a content generation system at all, we actually created an entire video, I believe it was either last week or before, where I showed you exactly how you can use Airtable, make to automatically create blogs for your construction business or any business realistically. It writes blog on demand, you can automate it to have it daily, you can use, they're all SEO enhanced so that they show up on Google. And then you can connect that to this system to automatically generate captions for you and then post everything without ever looking at it. But for this specific example, I'm going to assume that you already have some sort of existing blogs or you already have some content that you just want to post about on social media without spending all day typing on, away on your computer or on your phone. If you do want to create that system, please, I'll try to link it below in the description, but feel free to go ahead and watch that video as you can connect both of them together and have this like master system where you just post daily and you don't, all you have to do is approve it basically. Now for this specific video, we're going to focus on existing blogs. Now there's, those can come in multiple sort of different formats. The first one is if you already make videos, for example, you have a YouTube channel, you have testimonials, things of that nature. You can just go on a website like, I think it's called, you can go on a website like YouTube transcript, just paste in your URL and you'll have the entire transcript. You can use that as a base. The second option, which is what we're going to be using in this specific video, is where you can copy and paste data from your existing database. So wherever your blogs are all stored, you can go ahead and copy that content into a new one. And I'll show you what we've done for this example. We've taken our automated gener content generation system, just copy and pasted this into our new table, which I'll show you in a sec. And we've used that as an example. Last but not least, if you are a bit more advanced, you can always go ahead and create a website scraper so that you can not only scrape your entire website, but you can even scrape other people's websites to either create blogs about or rephrase what they're saying. And if you guys want us to make a video on that specific topic, feel free to let us know and we'd love to make one. Now that we know what problem we're solving and how we're going to solve it, let's actually go ahead and dive into building this system. There's going to be two main parts. The first one is going to be Airtable, which stores all of your data. For us, it's going to look like this, where you have a title, blog content, an article URL, and then a button where you can create captions, which is going to create Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn captions, as well as a button to post to socials, which is simply going to take the article, uh, take the article that's in the link, and basically make a new Facebook post for you. The second part is where we're going to use ChatGPT combined with Make to actually go ahead and read the article that you've given it so that it can write captions while taking into consideration the different languages of different platforms. Because the way you write on LinkedIn is not the same way you write on Facebook, which is not the same way you write on Instagram, which is not the same way you would write a YouTube video description, for example. So we're going to use all these different nuances and input them into GBT 3.5 for it to generate us a captions or a summary so that you can then include that in your post. Now, I know that might have been a lot, but I think it'll get much easier and much clearer once I actually go ahead and start building this thing. So, let's go. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is actually create a database. For this specific example, we're going to use Airtable because some of the automations are really, really beneficial. But you could use this for, you could use this using any spreadsheet software, really. Airtable is just easier for us. They have a free plan. But I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new table just to show you what this is going to look like and let's call it automated social media tool 
Now, once you're in Airtable and you've created your new database, we're going to use eight different columns. The first one is going to be called title. And then I'll go ahead and create all these and I'll show you what each one does. Once you've actually gone ahead and created all of the eight columns, most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through them quickly. You've got a title, which is just for your blog title or article title, the blog content, which is the actual body of the content, the article URL, which is simply a URL to your article as well as the create captions. And now this is where I'm going to skip over this for now because we're going to have to connect that through make. After that, so you can simply go ahead and ignore that. After that, you have the Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn captions. Now you can create as many of these as you want or as little of these as you want. But for this specific case, we're gonna be using Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, mostly just to show the difference in nuance between the writing of each platform. Because you could just use the same caption for Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. But people react differently to our people ex are expecting different format based on the platform that you're on. For example, you wouldn't post the same picture on Facebook as you would on Tinder or on LinkedIn, for example. And last but not least, it's going to be another button that we're going to have to connect to make, which is simply going to be a post to socials button. So now once you have all of those, let's go back into our pre-made version of it and I'll walk through everything. This information is simply copy and paste it from our main database. You can, like I mentioned earlier, you can either connect this through a web scraper, meaning if you have a bit more experience in coding, it should be pretty straightforward. Or you can just go ahead and take from your own database, whether it's Google Sheets, another Airtable document, or whatever you'd like in order to just fill this out. After that, you've got your URL, which is where does this article point to? Because keep in mind, the whole purpose of this is that you've already have, you have existing content, you have a YouTube video going up, you have a a new blog that you've written, either using our automated system or you've just written it on yourself, and you want people to know about it, but you don't want to spend time every day trying to figure out how can I package this so that people go ahead and actually read what I've written or watch my video. After that, you have a button called Create Captions. Now, now we're going to hop into Make really quickly, and this is what Make is going to look like for the first half of this equation, which is the actual writing of the captions. The first thing you want to do is create a webhook. And this should be pretty self-explanatory, but in case you don't know, you can just go ahead and click add here, write a webhook. Should pop up. Oh, I don't think it can because I've already have it on my screen, but go ahead and use a custom webhook. And this gets triggered whenever a it receives any sort of data. Now, once you get this, you're gonna see a little thing that says copy address to clipboard. Copy that address. And then go back into your automated social media um, Airtable database. And under create captions, you need to make sure that the field, which is the column here, the column title, it has to be a button. And what this is going to do, it's going to say, it's gonna basically going to activate whenever you click on this. So the formula you're going to want to use, it's, I'll show you an example. Let's delete all this right up to this question mark here. You're going to want to insert this, concatenate, and then you insert your webhook. And grab that and right after the end of the webhook you want to put a question mark record id and then comma or sorry apostrophe comma put in the word record id and with two parentheses and what this is basically saying is that concatenate means to add on so you're adding on the webhook url plus the record id to to refer to the same column or sorry the same row then once you have that, just press on save. And it's all gonna do once you do that, it's gonna launch that webhook, which is what's gonna trigger this. Then once you have that, you wanna create a new module called Airtable, and you can always add either from here or simply by right clicking and then pressing on add a module. You're gonna to wanna to use Airtable and then go ahead and select your base as well as the table. And the only thing that you need to include here is the record ID from this that you've passed on from Airtable. Now, the fun stuff, the writing of the captions. Now, you can go ahead and mess around with these a little bit. For, for this example's sake, we've just used Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as I mentioned earlier, just to show the differences in languages that GBT uses in order to write these captions. But for Facebook Writer, all we've used 
is a system role telling him, hey, you are an expert copywriter for the roofing company's Facebook page. Write an engaging caption to encourage the user to read the following article. Include the link in your response. And now we've simply passed on to it the article URL, which is in this, which is this column with this, this column, as well as the actual blog content. So that what am I going to write this caption about? You're going to want to create them, and this is important. The max tokens, you're going to have to set it to at least 2,500. Our blogs are about 500 words or less. If you do not include the max tokens, a big issue that we've encountered is that it won't actually link the article URL. So just make sure to mess around with it, see how much does it take. Because if you notice problems with, especially the GBT part of it, first thing to check for is the amount of tokens that you have or that you are using for each operation. And then afterwards, you're pretty much just copy and pasting the same thing, but instead of for a company's Facebook page, you're using for a company's Instagram page. And same thing for LinkedIn. As you can see, it's pretty standard stuff. You can mess around with the different settings as far as temperature, which simply just regulates how much creativity does it use for something, which is kind of fun, as a, like such as writing captions. You can be, get pretty creative with it, but this is really just more a matter of testing and seeing what works best for your brand image. And last but not least, what we're telling it to do at the end is to create a, we're going to use a new module called Airtable as well. And all we're going to update is the Facebook captions, Instagram captions, and LinkedIn captions. And you're going to want to go ahead and this is why I actually rename the modules just so they're easy to, you to see right here. Go under use, go under choices for each one and then message and then content. And that's pretty much it for the first half of the automated social media generation system. One of the most important things for our company has been to rigorously test everything while we're building it out. It's much better to find issues early on than all the way at the end when you've built everything up on top of it, only to realize that the foundation is basically quicksand. So make sure that you've turned on your, um, your make automation. And I also quick little pro tip, name, the, name these automations as clearly as possible. And once you've gone ahead and done that, let's actually test this out. So for this one, the blog content was the five roof maintenance tips everybody overlooks. Let's see what sort of captions this comes up with. Now, one the first thing you're going to notice when you click on click on on the URL link is basically going to say accepted. All this means is that the webhook has gone through and you have received a response from it. And if you go back into make, you can actually see this writing stuff. So let's hop back out and look at that. So now protect your investment and the lifespan. So this is the Facebook Instagram, the Facebook captions one interesting. And if I go look on the Instagram one, secrets to long lasting roofs, all about maintenance. Interesting, perfect. As well as like, are you home and look to protect your investment and extend the lifespan of your roof? So, and just in this little example, it might not be as evident here, but even the wording, the amount of emojis that you have, by far Instagram had the most ones because I think people on Instagram are maybe a bit of a younger audience and LinkedIn is more, let's say professional. So emojis aren't regarded the same, they aren't used as regularly as on Instagram, for example. But as you go further and further, you'll, you'll see the power of just, having those little nuances between platforms and how much that helps for the algorithm as well as how it helps people react to your content. People don't react in the same way on LinkedIn that they do on Facebook, for example, or on Instagram. So once you've made sure that all of this works, the last portion of this is, okay, well, I've got my captions, I've got my content. Now I don't want to spend all day posting it myself. So the next button is going to be very similar to the create captions button. You can actually go ahead and duplicate it. The only difference is going to be the actual webhook. So let's hop back into Mick and I'll show you how, what that looks like. Now, once you're in Mick, it's actually pretty familiar or pretty similar to the first automation we made. The only difference is, is the webhook is going to go to a different place. So for example, let's go back into Airtable just to get the URL. So if you go to edit field, same as the last time, concatenate. And the one thing that you want to change is this webhook right here. Make sure to end it right before the, once you get the webhook from Make, copy this address, put it in here, and then add the question mark record ID equals apostrophe comma record ID in parentheses afterwards, which as I said earlier, simply takes that webhook and then uh, puts or concatenates it with the record ID so that Airtable and make knows which row you're referring to once you're sending that information over. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and use Airtable module, use a Airtable module to get, to get the record ID back. 
Based on re that record ID, you can go ahead and connect Facebook pages, connect LinkedIn, which is the tool I've got as an example here. And all you've got to do is in the messages from Airtable, you're gonna say, look, I want the message or the caption to be the Facebook caption that we made earlier. And then the link is gonna be the article URL as you created afterwards. And you can go ahead and create as many applications as you want for this. But for this specific example, we've used LinkedIn where the content is LinkedIn captions. The media type is an article, article, article URL, title, title. And then you can go ahead and mess around with the settings. Last but not least, I've just got an email which basically lets me know whenever something has been posted so that if for some reason I'm not expecting something to be posted, this will automatically, this will let me know. You can go ahead and test this out. But realistically, here, let's give it a shot actually. If I go to post social, this says accepted. And if I go back out, I should see this as being a success. Oh, there we go. I did get an email right now. A new article has been posted. Let's go on Facebook and see what happened. And just like that, we have automatically posted with the image an article. Now you can go ahead just from the simple example, you can see how powerful this can become. You can automate these things so that uh, if you've seen our previous video, I don't want to dive into to it too deep, but you can automate this so that it automatically creates an article and then once that has been created and the published date has come it'll create its own captions and post them all in one go and you'll never have to look at it ever again but i thought especially people who are more beginning into this whole ai automation part of the industry it is good to keep an eye on these things so that to make sure that you're not posting stuff because keep in mind your reputation is on the line so it's important to make it right but on that note thank you very much for watching if you had any suggestions, any improvements you want us to make, any ideas on how to make the system better, or if you want to work with us on building any sort of automations in the construction or elsewhere, feel free to hit us up. All the links are down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.